Obviously, you can hear me. Yes, thank you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hello, hello. I'm trying some new things out, so bear with me. I am turning off the audio on my second computer, so I don't have to keep hearing that. There we go. All right. So, we've got some new music going. Uh, let's see. Is it playing? It is playing. Awesome sauce. All right, so um, we're gonna pick back up today with Secrets Can Kill. And uh, yesterday, just as to recap, we've met a couple of characters. We met Connie and Daryl and the private eye who's working on the case to help solve it so we were in the library last and uh, I was starting to get a little cross-eyed reading all the things so uh, basically we have potentially some relics we're gonna be finding as well as uh, maybe something to do with monsters and gemstones so that's as far as we've gotten my desk kitty today is Desmond, as you might can hear through the microphone. So uh, he will most certainly be making some noises here. So let me go ahead and load up our game. I'd like to load up this game. <gasps> no, don't do this to me. Nancy. Nancy. This is my sister. <laughs> I found it. <sighs> I was a little scary there for a second. I almost thought my game had to restart. Thankfully, no. Alright, so let's switch over to that. I did adjust some of the options in here like the music so please tell me if it's still too loud or I can move this microphone just a smidge closer to me as well if that might help all right I'm gonna go um, for the record as I was told later by someone who watched the stream later in here in this map um, if anything happens to me, search under my combo in catalog. I did actually have that written down. I just read it as comb. So, <laughs> uh, I promise I got it right the first time. <laughs> I was also told to go look back at the books that we read through last night for the letters that were different colors. So I'm gonna go do that now. 
Though I don't recall there being different colors in here. Mm, not this one. This may must have been a, a different book that they were referring to. Okay, so in this book we have a couple of letters. So W R T S M T S T T S G Hmm. I don't feel like the music's too loud. Hmm. I don't see any letters in this one. So again, it must have been just that one. Okay. All right, I feel like we discovered down here at the bottom of the library pretty well, but we didn't go up the stairs. Oh my goodness. So where there's a twinkle, if you were to click on it, you get a quarter. So that when she says she doesn't have money, that's how she gets money. All right, thank you for that tip, Heather. Fine. Jake was here. Oh boy. So here's our table of elements. So going back to our first set of things that we kept running down, we have an element colon and then something else. Like the first one is XE colon R3. So looking at for X3, which I can't even tell you the last time I looked at a periodic table. So. Xe, xenon, uh, is element 54. Okay. Hf. Hafnium and that is seventy two. And then Z N Zinc. And that is 30. And then L A L A Oh. Lance Lanthath. Oh my god. Can't say it right. Lanth Thanium, maybe that's right. And all I okay, and then NA, which I'm pretty sure it was sodium, yes, it is. 
That is 11. A, S. Arsenic. And that is 33. And then we have C, which is carbon, and that's six. Y, just straight Y. Uh, I can't read that because it's fuzzy. Yetium? Honestly, cannot read that. And I promise I have prescription glasses. I have no idea. Um, and then ZR was the last one that we found. There it is, Zychronium. And that is 40. Okay, so that's all the ones that we found thus far. Um, let's see if there's anything that she calls out if we hover over any of these. Okay, that's a no. So Jake was here. Now the only thing that we don't have the answer for is their other side of these, like R3, L1, D1, we don't have an answer for yet. Maybe that's right three, left one, down one, up two. Those seem to be the only letters Do I need to find those on the periodic table? So if I go to the right of Xenon, I can't because that's off of the chart. So that's not what that's for. <sighs> okay. Uh, we don't have an answer for that yet. like we've got some presidents on the wall more books hang in there what did you hear that okay Is there someone in here with me? Wigging me out a little bit. Okay. I apologize, I have to read this. <laughs> All right. Uh, one of the most ancient and widespread legends known to humankind can be summed up thusly. Scattered over the earth are 13 humanoid skulls carved out of pure crystal. I'm pretty sure there's a game specifically for this later. Um, at some point in the future, fate will bring the 13 skulls together. They will speak, imparting wisdom that will save the human race from annihilation and usher in a golden age of peace and enlightenment. There are several versions of this legend. In one, the skull, skulls were created by Mayans, Incans, or Aztecs and collectively form a repository of information detailing how and why humans came to be. Another legend credits their creation to the extraterrestrials who seeded the earth with the human race and left the skulls behind to explain their actions at some point in the future. Yet another contends the skulls are ancient in origin, but more important, 
that each skull is somehow magical in and of itself. The distinctive gifts they offer their owner reputably reputedly include precognition, clairvoyance, telekinesis, and of course immortality. Some variations combine all of the above. What is both indisputable and intriguing about the general legend and its smaller, colorful variations is that several mysterious crystal skulls have indeed been discovered in the past millennium, turning up in all quarters of the earth. What follows is an examination of everything that is currently known about these skulls in hopes of separating the facts of their existence from the fantasies of human imagination. The Whisperer, the first documented reference to the crystal skull, known as the Whisperer, came in 1532, shortly after Hernando de Soto helped Francisco Pizarro ambush and capture the Incan emperor at Tulupa at the Battle of Camarca. Oh my gosh, the names, guys. I'm really struggling today. De Soto's aide, uh, aide de camp, while updating the, the De Soto's expedition records, noted that during the emperor's subsequent imprisonment, De Soto befriended the In- Incan ruler. In time, the emperor told De Soto a secret. He possessed an exquisitely detailed life-size human skull that the ancient ones had cr- had carved out of pure crystal. He happened upon it in a hunt of a deceased high priest whose astonishing, astonishingly advanced age had caused his fellow priests, out of fear and jealousy, to slip him a fatal dose of poison. The emperor took a fancy to the skull and kept it. Soon... And soon realized that the skull, which he contended would sometimes whisper to him in an unearthly voice using unfamiliar words, was giving him immunity to all human ailments. This kind of sounds like uh, the storyline to Indiana Jones. (laughs) Uh, And that, you know, movie that didn't go over great. Uh, but like the priests before him and like everyone who possessed this particular skull after him, the emperor soon discovered that while the skull could perhaps protect him from the ravages of time and nature, it was no match for the treasury of his fellow man or treachery of his fellow man to De Soto's great surprise and dismay. Pizarro had the emperor executed. No, oh, that's too bad. Although there is no other mention of the skull in the DeSoto's records, it is highly doubtful that the Spaniard would have left a treasure behind when he returned to Europe in 1536. Indeed, the next documented reference to the crystal skull, which the emperor seemed to have in- inadvertently bequeathed to the DeSoto, came in a letter written by a nobleman in the court of Philip II, the member of Austrian Hosburg. I'm not really sure why we need to read this or if I'm even going to read it all. I'm not seeing specifics that would stand out like letters. Okay, I'm going to spare us reading all of this. So, um, Crystal Skulls. We'll have to remember that one. Um, Again, I'm not seeing letters. In 17th century Spain, Capital General Ignacio de Santa... Santa Ana Domingo was something of a celebrity. Um, okay. Something about treasure. And then this symbol, or it kind of looks like an Irish knot. Which wouldn't make a whole lot of sense when we're talking about someone from Spanish history. Why this particular... Maybe that's not an Irish, but just... 
interesting. Really? No other books? It was like they would not make me go down this way for nothing. Whoa! Looks, this looks handwritten and in a different language. Um. French? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't read this particular thing unless you can read it. It's French. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, the alarm went off a moment ago, which was really, really random. I don't see anyone down here with me, though. So if we were to look under this catalog search here, if anything happens to me, search under my combo in catalog. We don't know what his combo was. So we may have to come back to that too. All right, so we do have a combo for the soda machine to make it go off and hopefully get rid of the hall monitor. I think we need to go this way because this is the direction we were trying to head yesterday. We definitely haven't looked at this billboard yet. Let's find some more stuff about elements. Oh, see this one. All right, so K R L two. And then this combo thing of letters again. So we'll have to go back to the library and see what that element is later, but I want to see what the gem looks like. Oh, there's another bulletin board. Let's look at another one. Oh Lord. Then we have K and then R1. And this upside down backwards message. Nowhere to turn, nowhere to turn to, nowhere to hide. Let the books in the library be your answer guide. Oh no, this one's different. Okay, I'll come back to that middle one.
he did Mm, 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 mm. That makes no sense. I feel like I need a mirror to read that one. To keep up his... Even if it... We're getting closer to this. I don't think turning upside down is going to help it. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, I'm going to write this down. Maybe this will help. This is interesting. Yeah, I, I think I do need a mirror. At least for the third one, but the middle one, that wouldn't necessarily help with that one. I have a mirror right here. Let me let me write stuff down first. Of course I have a mirror. Of course. I'm writing the middle one down on a uh, paper because it looks like it's just simply scrambled. Um, so that one is going to be different. So looking at this one in a mirror. The third one on the right with a mirror is I wonder if my phone would invert it automatically because you know how like you take a picture and it automatically identifies text and will flip it for you. No, Google didn't know what to do with it either. <laughs> um, I was able to, to make it right side up. <laughs> that actually worked. I don't know if this will work for you guys if you can see it. But the message, I was able to 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 rotate it and then in the mirror I can read it. So now it says he did what it took to make the grade even if it meant cheating to keep up his charade. So uh, that worked. <laughs> All right, but the middle one, we gotta figure out the middle one. I think the first word is hide. Uh, the last one is that. Um, the second line, the second word I think is big. The third line, third word is with. Mm. 
Am I missing a letter with that one? No. And then obviously the second word of the last line is of. Hmm. The second word of the first line is must. And then the third word of the first line, someone. Uh, the first word of the second line is secret. Hmm. The third word of the second line. Are we, hold up. It's all backwards, thank you. <laughs> thank you, it is all backwards. Except this one doesn't work in the mirror. This one doesn't work backwards in the mirror. That's too bad. Yes, thank you. Gosh. No, no, no. I don't think that's cheating. I think um, as time goes on, and they have updated this game. This isn't all the original game because there's definitely some new things. So I don't call it cheating. No, no, no. Okay, so, okay, if we're seeing this backwards, all right, the last line, first word, what is that? K A N J I? That someone must hide reflects big secret, worn with great pride, a symbol of kanji? K-A-N-J-I. Okay. So, Worn with pride, symbol of kanji. Okay. Let's keep exploring. Why would we need to look at that? Huh? There's another corner. So there's nothing in the locker rooms, apparently. What? Why? Whoa, a new girl at school. Do you realize 
Sweet Destiny has brought you today. Yours truly, Hector Sanchez. But you can just call me the Hulk. Wow. The Hulk? You are new around here. I play for the Manatees, one of the best teams in the state. I leave the others in the dirt, man. Soon it's college ball, and then the pros. Showtime. One of the best teams in the state? Hello? Paseo Del Mar High School has been Florida's number one football team for the last four years. I've been trying to get the coach to change that lame mascot ever since I first made the team. Sorry, I was getting the eyes from the cat. He was thinking, where the heck is my dinner? It is well after seven. All right, so he's... Are you sure there's nothing to be afraid of? I'm afraid you're asking too many questions. What's it to you? Sorry, <laughs> so what's been going on at school? Somebody killed Jake Rodney. Do you know why he was killed? I'm sorry Jake's dead. But I can't waste my life worrying about it. All right, touchy. I gotta go to practice later. Practice what? Standing in the corner? Excuse me, joy human person, but you seem to be pretty nosy. How's it going? Do you know how Tanaka? That dude is always studying. He's a huge fan of mine. Real smart guy. But I never understood why a brain like Tanaka would hang out with slime like Jake. Hal was a friend of Jake's? Let's just say I saw them talking together a lot. Jake's locker was right next to Hal's. But they weren't really friends, is that what you're saying? Jake didn't really have friends, and Hal, he may seem pretty chill, but I've seen him crack a couple of times. He's seriously uptight. Crack a couple of times? He's got a temper, a bad one. He lets the pressure build and build until he's wound so tight the slightest thing sets him off. Like last week, I strike him out during gym, and he goes ballistic and charges the mound. He's got some serious issues. <laughs> now that I think of it, last time I saw them together, Hal seemed pretty upset. What can you tell me about Connie Watson? She hangs out at the gym a lot, and I heard she's been having a real tough time. Is the game volume better? Tough time? I heard she's been having some money problems. What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He seems like a cool guy. His family used to sponsor the annual football awards dinner until last year. You know, he's the one who found Jake's body. Oh. I'll talk to you later. Bye, Nancy. What else can you tell me? Never mind. All right. We've exhausted all of our questions, apparently. Okay. So he legit scared me on the corner. Um, Crane School of Self-Defense. Training that gets results. Okay. Jump on education. Okay, why are we looking at this? Maybe we need to call this defense school? Five 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 judo. Hold, please. Hold on before I, I don't want to lose that. Yes. All right, I made some adjustments. Let me know if that helps. Out of order. I wonder, maybe this is the one that I need to set off to make her run. 
because I want to search the teacher's lounge and what's her face is in there. Um, Connie. All right, so grape, grape, orange, cool. <laughs> he got he like really yelled at me. Am I going the wrong way? Yes. Good riddance! Get out! Whoops, wrong one. Teacher's Lounge. All right, so Hal Tanaka's paper. Etiquette is the art of communicating in a method that puts the receiver at ease. Okay. I don't I don't see anything in particular that really stands out from that. Hmm. A trophy was not the only prize, but also money of greater size. So AGD1. <laughs> Give me that quarter. Gray Enterprises post third loss stock tumbles. Eugene Gray. So this must be Daryl's dad. Looks like they think that he'll come back. Hmm. Hmm. That's it for that side. Wow, let's make it a bit bigger. Yes, I, I did that. I did set it off. So then now we're looking at CLD2. Looks like nothing else really in this that we need to look at. Oh, I need a username and password. I don't think we have one. Unless someone left one for us here on the desk. Give me that quarter. No, no. In, out. Um. Hmm. 
Hmm. I wonder if anything has to do with the names, like in a particular order, because they're not alphabetical. All right, so we need to find a teacher login to be able to get to the computer. You might be wondering why I'm even sending this and I wish I had better explanation. So many times in the hallway we catch each other's eyes and it seems like we both want to say something, but we keep to keep walking. You with your friends, me, me alone. There's so much I want to say to you every time I drive to or from school. It's like you're in the car with me and we have amazing conversations. And I'm thinking, will this ever be true? Can you forgive me for what I did? Can I? I want to explain, but a part of me knows that it's not safe and it's stupid to, to do. Sometimes I just can't sleep it. I just can't keep it bottled up inside me. I want to scream it from the rooftops. Is this crazy? Am I? Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> let's see what Hal has to say if there's anything new. Have you heard of Hulk Sanchez? Heard of him? Hulk holds the conference record for quarterback sacks. He's been the state's number one player since he was a freshman. He's also a candidate for a big university, even with his injury. Injury? Hulk got hurt a few weeks ago. Ever since that game, he hasn't played the same. I worry that his chances of playing for a top school are not as good as before his injury. See ya. Farewell, Nancy. Farewell. Nope, not that one. I want to go down the other one. Not the pink one. What? What's that? Nope. Okay. How's it going? I'm really sorry you got injured. Does that affect your chances of playing college ball? I had a little sprain, no big deal. Within a week, I was better than before and impressing the football scouts. Well, I'm as strong as ever. Okay. Goodbye. Later. Later, skater. Hmm. Let's see. Let's go talk to our friend, the police officer, and see what kind of updates he can give us. And I don't remember how to get out of here, so let's figure that out. No, I did what I did earlier. So dumb. Not that one. That one. Maybe Daryl also has something what to say. Do, for you? do you know Connie Watson? Not that well. She keeps to herself a lot. I've always thought there's something mysterious about her. Kind of the same way I feel about you. Puh. What can you 
you tell me about Hal Tanaka? Hal's an exchange student who's all scholarships and studies. He's very intense about becoming a doctor. How well do you know Hulk Sanchez? Big guy, big muscles, big dreams. A lot of football scouts have been coming over to watch him play. He must be under a lot of pressure to perform. Is your dad the owner of Gray Enterprises? Yep, that's him. I have an internship in the computer department at the plant. It's mega boring, but it'll look good on my college application. Didn't I hear that you found Jake's body? Yeah, I, I did. The student council president gets keys to the school. We had an early morning council meeting and I found him lying there. It was the worst thing I ever experienced in my life. And I really don't want to think about it right now. All right, let me ask you a different hard question. Didn't I hear that Gray Enterprises went bankrupt? So what if it did? My dad is working really hard to get the company back on track, and it doesn't help to have vultures like you gloating over it. I'm sorry, Daryl. I didn't mean to gloat. That's okay. I'm just a little touchy about it. What else can I do for you? That's it. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Nancy. Okay, so I definitely see behind him the menu. There are like different letters on it that I need I need to look at it, but I don't know how to get him away from the the desk, I guess. Woot! I wanna know what Woot does. Can I use this? All right. <laughs> Interesting um, choices. Hi, Nancy. What? Hi, Uncle Steve. Hi, Nancy. <laughs> what use is Uncle Steve? <laughs> and he still hasn't busted these tables. What a lazy bum. I don't know, maybe Aunt Eloise has like a login we can use? I don't know, bye. I just. <sighs> and we still need a VHS tape, like we still haven't found that. And this crazy story over here that makes no sense when you read it. Back to the high school. Let's go this way. We haven't gone this way yet. I don't think I have at least. Oh look. Oh yeah, we haven't seen this. Um okay, so I R D two. I don't think this is one of those backwards ones. Find them. Find them. Is 
some of this makes sense, some of it doesn't. So like, and discover... Rano the cr the crime the answer is in black and white to who will do the time Find the morning edit edition. Oh my god. Find the morning edition and discover another crime. The answer is in black and white to who will do the time. Okay, so we need to find a a newspaper? Okay. Find a newspaper. That was a bit, a bit complicated. Alright, so we found all the bulletin boards finally. It looks like I need to go to the library again and fill in the blank as to what some of these. Whoops, I need the key. Okay. So back to our thing here. So our newest ones, we have K. And that one is potassium. And that is 19. And then CL. Chlorine. Oh, yeah. And that is 17. I R Iridium. And that is 77. And then A G which I thought was gold. Let me make sure that's right. Nope. Silver. Derp. And that's 47. Okay, so those are all of the ones that we've found on the bulletin board and the menu at the diner. So we still have the directionals that are associated with each of those down, right, left, up. So, so this says to put the elements in order to open puzzle. So if we were to do that, going through all of our elements, sodium is 11, so that's Na. The next one, oh. Carbon is the first one. Sorry, carbon, because that was six. Six, 11. Chlorine is 17. Potassium is next. That's 19. Zinc is next. That's 30. Actually, let me write the numbers under these real quick before I forget. So 
sink is 30. Okay. And then arsenic is 33. And then we have yetium, which I still feel like that's not right, but that is the next one. It's 39. And then zychronium is 40. Silver, AG, is 47. Uh, Zen Xenon, which is 54. Uh, Lanthanium is 57. Okay, we have two left. Hafnium is 72. And then Iridium. That is the last one that we have, and that is 77. Okay, so put elements in order to open puzzle. So we haven't encountered a puzzle particular though that we would put those in, right? Hmm. Oh look, hey, there's VHS tapes back there. Right? Maybe not. Yeah, I'm making that up. <laughs> Maybe it was on VHS tapes. Hmm. Oh, I did not see this earlier. Is there a Glam Glam magazine up here? Sports today. A steroid a -bruche. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, physiological side effects. Liver damage, heart damage, impotence are a few of the problems. Low body fats, counter with high steroid use is unhealthy. Okay. Is someone using steroids? Maybe Hulk? Still need to find a morning edition paper. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Marie Antoinette, I see, I feel like they're just making an homage to other games here. This is all just red herrings. Yep, that's totally what it is. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, we get it. There's other games that they talk about those character people. Okay. Hey, look, there's Braille. Okay, so like the door for the maintenance room, Braille. Um.
I don't know. Okay, so it's good to know where we can look it up, but I don't, I don't know what we want to translate into this for us to open the maintenance room. That's what that is. <sighs> that someone must hide reflects big secret, warm with great pride, a symbol of kanji. It's crane. All right. So we need to go talk to Connie maybe about her thing. And there's another. Yay, homage to another game. Not necessarily important to our current mystery. Please return books here. I'm supposed to look at something here? Surprisingly, have not found a newspaper anywhere. This library is a mess, Aunt Eloise. Hmm. Alright, so let's go talk to Connie. And find a paper somewhere. Okay. See ya. I must go now, Nancy. It's worth checking. Hey, Nancy. Need something? Didn't I hear you were dating Jay? Hey, a girl can make a mistake, can't she? Okay. That was fascinating. Your medallion has a symbol that means crane, and crane is the name of the judo school on the poster in the gym. Oh. What a coincidence. Funny, I never noticed. I gotta go now. Later. I'm not done talking to you. What is it you want now? Whoa! Dude? Hope told me money's been tight for you these days. But what a dork. Hulk Sanchez doesn't know the first thing about my life. He needs to get a life and stop talking about mine. Okay. Do you know how Tanaka? Not very well. He's an exchange student from Japan and a total workaholic. He told me he's trying to get more scholarships for college. Lately, he's been looking really burnt out. I think the pressure's getting to him. What pressure? I guess it's a big deal for his family that he get into a good school on a free ride. I'll talk to you later. Adios. Mm-hmm. Tony's Pizza. <laughs> oh, that's been a Reddit thing recently. <laughs> How is it that I have not found a paper? write down what letters these might be so that maybe that helps us narrow it down this is obviously not all of the letters
really rough. <laughs> it's like it's taunting me. It keeps blinking. Well, hopefully that makes sense later when I look <laughs> at the letters. Oh, goodness. four numbers I don't have anything in here that was four le four numbers. <sighs> Let's use my cell phone. I guess we're calling Ned. Hello, is this not a window crosser? Who is please calling me? Um, no, I'm trying to reach Ned Nickerson. Nancy, it's Ned. Derp. I thought with you being undercover and everything, I had to take on a different persona. Ned, I'm the one who's undercover, not you. Okay, okay. I guess I'll just go undercover vicariously for you, which for some odd reason feels very deja vu-ish. It'd probably be a good idea if you didn't mention my assignment to anyone. You never know who may be related to this case, even up at Emerson. Your secret's safe with me, along with your heart. Oh, what? Enough lovey-dovey talk. It'll make me miss you even more. So have you found any homicidal secrets yet? Bye, Ned. Off Weaverson. I really can't ask? We're going to call this judo place, though. We are currently not seeking any new initiates at this time. We will seek you if you are worthy. Oh. Um, okay. I did not pay attention to the fact that we could take pictures because that's new to me. <laughs> uh, dork. Well, ugh, poop. I need a paper.
How's it going? <laughs> Goodbye. Bye, Nancy. I'm, I'm, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Do you know the combination to Jake Rogers? I know I could just ask. I'm sorry, Nancy. I can't help you with that. Hulk said your lock is right next to Jake's. Are you sure you don't know the combination? Hey. Hmm. I remember one day Jake was mad because he couldn't open his locker. He told me he wished I had a phone handy. Would that help? Connie told me you study too hard. Is that true? Connie doesn't know my study habits. I can handle my studies. I'm behind in my studies and I must get back to the library. Bye, Nancy. The library's locked? So... Uh, he said he wished he had his phone handy. his phone handy. We do have a login. Oh, okay. We have Aunt Eloise log into the computer. I need to go set off the alarm again for Connie. Fart. Hi, nerd. Excuse me. Rude. Wait. Am I at the front of the school somehow? Okay. What is it you want now? Someone set off the alarm on the soda machine again. It's Connie, the student monitor, to the rescue again. Okay, bye. Get out of here, you nerd. Okay, well, I feel dumb because I forgot that this was in our aunt's house. Okay. O wise elder. Oops, elder. <laughs> okay. Um, what do we want to look up? What do we need to look up? Everything? Oh. Snap! We want this. Can I take a picture of this? With my phone? Take a photo. Yes. Okay. We really, really want the maintenance room. So, maintenance room is note. Um, okay. It's kind of sad that they didn't spell apple right uh, to the cafeteria. It's kind of weird. Okay, let's look at what else we can see. Clean steward uh, repair lock on video lab door. Check ADA requirements for door. Call Dylan HVAC for boiler service. Change password to boiler room door. Glad they haven't done that. Locate missing book or order replacement 
for English essays through the ages. Uh, gather donations for sophomore book sale, update meeting information for Paseo Book Club, take down student art exhibit on Friday, have library computer networked with school. So the missing book is interesting. I feel like that might be important to know. English essays through the ages. Hmm. Hmm. And whose essay did we read? Hal's. So I wonder if he took the book and may have lifted it. Eloise, we need to find a replacement for Jake Roger Rogers for bulletin board duty. Please send me a list of candidates you recommend for this duty. Well, that seems like self-explanatory and kind of rude, Principal Parton. No disc volleyball. Recycles empty. Okay. Printer status reflete. File security report. <laughs> All right. Um, five fifteen lights left on in the library. Sent email. Six p.m. All outer entrances checked. Locked. Backpacks belonging to Connie found in student union placed in lost and found. Several outside security lights. Proud worker order submitted. Toolbox from Dylan. Left in boiler room, left note for maintenance. 7 p.m. patrolled outside grounds on foot. Dumpster by cafeteria was not properly secured. Several raccoons in the area. Have sent several notes to kitchen staff to secure dumpster. This needs to be addressed. Uh, 805. Observed young man peering through school entrance doorway. He identi identified himself as exchange student and was trying to retrieve his homework. I let him in, escorted him to his locker, escorted him out. Approximately 8.30, over two individuals arguing by the gym. When I approached, two males ran down Rutherford Street. First male, approximately 5'5", five 120, five, red hair, 15 to 18 years old. He wore green windbreaker and jeans. Second male, 15 18, wore a football jersey with number 8-0. So that's the Hulk. Who, who is the security guy? Because they suck. Um, uh, 9.25, caught several students. Soaping teachers' lounge windows. Students admitted they were engaged in a senior prank. Instruct instructed the students to clean the windows to leave campus. I mean, it was soap. I'm of all the things, it's just just soap. The students involved were Daryl Gray, Nathan Gomber, and Yvonne Wong. The students' names have been given to Principal Park. Twelve oh one. Heard screams from East Stairwell after calling nine one one. Found male teenager who apparently fell from stairs. Tempted to apply first aid. See police report for full details. Hmm. This was on Thursday. Tia Tana. Hmm. Well, that helps kind of get us unstuck for a moment, don't you think? <laughs> it's a window. Oh, snap. Hello? You better stop your nosy nosing or it'll get bent way out of shape. It said literally that person's name is Mitch Dillon. <laughs> Can I call him back? Nancy Drew, you called me and threatened me? No, I didn't. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yes, you did. I saw your caller ID number. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Um, I'm sorry, miss, if you're having trouble with your air conditioning. We'll send a technician to find a permanent solution. I'm not talking about air conditioning. I'm talking about you threatening me. Look, I'm not going to play this game with you. Nancy 
hung up on him. Okay, that was weird. I mean, why? Why would that guy call us? And how would he have our number? All right, we're going to the library. See you later. Goodbye, Nancy. Book for Braille was over here. Whoop, whoops, go back. Not that one. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, so for the maintenance door, we need it to spell note. So, all right. Okay, so that one, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. And then O looks like a little blah, blah, blah. This is really bad. And then T looks like a Tetris piece. <laughs> and then E is the two dots. All right, let's go see what the maintenance there looks like. Oop, was this her missing book? hope I don't mess this up. So that one, that one, that one, and that one. Oh snap. Oh no. Oh no. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this at all. Oh, look, the boiler. <laughs> this sounds oddly familiar, 1967. I guess safety first, you should always have gloves. Emergency instructions. The cause of high temperature conditions must be investigated by a qualified professional personnel and corrective action taken before piacing the boiler in operating service again. I'm sure it says placing, but the L looks like an I. <laughs> before placing the boiler in operating service again. Um, so I wonder if the way that the gauges look is something we need to remember. Sure. 
it looks like they're all in that positioning currently. So nothing of concern there. Why, why is this of importance? Okay, let's go back up. Wigging me out here a little bit. That's all that's in here. <laughs> that sucks. All right, so let's go talk to our police officer friend because we've been threatened. I think maybe he needs to know that. My woot music is still on. Hi, Nancy. Could you tell me the combination to Jake's locker? Well, like I said, we already looked in his locker. There's nothing there. I know, but I'd like to see for myself. Well, then you'll need to figure it out by yourself. <sighs> you suck. I think you should know that I got a threatening phone call from someone named Mitch Dillon. Interesting. Mitch is a suspect we're looking into. And he probably caught wind that you're snooping around. But I wouldn't pay him much attention. If he does anything else, let me know, and we'll take care of him. How is he involved? You don't need to know at this time. What kind of undercover work do you need? I need Jake's journal. We have Mitch covered. See you around. See you later. What can I do for you? Someone said you were caught soaping up the windows on the teacher's lounge. Yeah, I totally got busted. It was a senior prank. I had to spend two days in detention. Wasn't that the night Jake was murdered? Yeah, I guess it was. Never really thought about that. See you later. Bye, Nancy. Um, I guess we should need to talk to Hulk over here. How's it going? I'll talk to you later. Later. Lame. Okay. So Hal's hint was he wished the Jake said he wished he had his phone in order to remember his combination. I mean, it's not going to hurt to try. Uh, it wouldn't make sense. <laughs> it wouldn't make sense. It's not the elements because each of those are like two numbers each. Right? There are double digits is what I mean. And we need four total. And they're in order. If anything happens to me, search under my combo in catalog.
Nothing much in her notes to help. Some Yahoo. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. He wished he had his phone. Just looking at these over one more time to make sure, like this is the one that still gets me. So, those numbers don't make sense. <laughs> They wouldn't work in a combo, like opening a locker. Ooh, my bee. The hidden videotape will seal my murderer's fate. So there's a videotape, obviously, that we need to find. And we know from our... There's somewhere there's a video record. Hmm... Records room, have we found that? I don't think we have. Oh, wait, I wanted to go down the other hall. I do this every time. That was the put elements in order to open puzzle. Which we did, but we don't have a puzzle that it applies to yet. So we'll have to figure out eventually what that's about.
This says fifth map drawer. How did I miss that the first time? Fifth map drawer. Which we I think we found. So that's done. This one's still... Doesn't add up. What is it you want now? Nothing. See you later. Bye, Nancy. You're so mean and then nice. Make your mind up. I don't know. Let's call Tony's Pizza. other codes to areas that we could go we know the maintenance room but what about records computer lab So frustrating this part when you get stuck and no one wants to help you whoops I want to push save first before I forget yes If a Yes, I did talk to Uncle Steve and he didn't help at all. It was awful. So like I'm needing the combination to Jake's locker. Hal won't give it to me. Uncle Steve won't give it to me. The only clue that, that we've gotten from Hal was that Jake had said that he wished he had his phone to help him unlock his locker because he, he forgot it once. So I'm trying to go through my notes to because it's four digits. What would you need your phone to help you remember four digits specifically? And out of all the things that we've thus far found there's more than four numbers probably so it probably does um yeah Kind of at a loss about about it. Uh, 
And I was reading this because it's backwards, and I don't remember reading it before. If anything happens to me, look in my chemistry book, page three, zero, five. I need to find a chemistry book. There was a map in the teachers. I don't know why I think I need a map, but let's go to the library again. Oh, I went the wrong way. <laughs> this is what we saw already, but I was hoping to look at that map. Yeah, I've already looked at that. I wish we could do something with this still. I, I don't know what to search. And I haven't found a, a morning paper yet either. Four digits. He wishes he had his phone. I am a donut. That sounds like a fascinating book. Why are we not reading that? Monsters, we don't care. Oh yeah, the letters from the... The Relics book. Super frustrating. What was that? Go back. Ugh. This is the French thing again. I still don't know what this is. Maybe this is another kind of homage to the one of the other games. Again, I, I'm not sure because that's what we found in here thus far as like several books related to other games. But it won't let me go past one page when it's that. So that's why I think that one's just a nod at another game. Which makes it super frustrating when you're playing this one. 
because that's not helpful. Crystal skulls thing again. <sighs> Whoa. Wait. I don't remember reading this one before. Ham radius. Oh, jeez. Four digit number. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh. We're gonna have to remember this, so I'm taking a picture. Is there a four letter word that you can translate to the cell phone? Is there a four letter word that you can translate to the cell phone? Um, like, maybe? Um, No, <laughs> I don't have one that comes to mind, no. So these are the four letter words for the most part that were from the staff computer. I think that's what I need to use though. I mean, I know that his combo will be used in the search in the catalog.
coming up short, you guys. We are coming up on that two hour mark. So it's probably a good time for me to put it down, <laughs> come back to it later. I will be, let me save this first. Okay. So, um, I will be back online tomorrow, tomorrow night. So hopefully by then my brain's had a time to rest and we can figure out this locker combination that's so important for us to be able to move with the rest of the game. <laughs> this happens every game. There's always one thing that we get stuck on. We find everything else but that. So, uh, I hope to see you all tomorrow and hope you have the rest of your Saturday. Bye. Thank you.